Good evening everybody, welcome to the Medusa Games Sunday evening stream. So, uh, hope you've all had a good Easter, we had a few weeks um, off for the Easter break, but we're back again now. Um, what we thought we'd do this time, for the last couple of months we've been joined on most of these streams by our daughter um, Helen and, and by James, uh, two of the other members of the Medusa team. But what we thought we'd do for the next few weeks is concentrate on two player games. Mm -hmm. So. Um, some of you will have seen when we played through um, Oranges and Lemons, an uh, advanced prototype that we're currently working on, more of a Euro style game. And the intention is that that should function as a two player game as well. But we have never actually, I think, played it as a two player game. So mm -hmm. we thought we'd have a first attempt on air, as it were, see how it goes. So the scoring in this particular game might end up being wildly out because you never can tell with anything until you actually try and play it. So yeah. the idea is that we'll start it today, we'll carry on next week, and when we get to the end of the game, we'll have a bit of discussion and analysis as to whether we think that the modifications that are in there so far actually work or not, or whether there are other things that we need to do. Sure. Right. So let's get the uh, let's get the game up. Um, here we are. It's on on screen now. So um, we're in this uh, game. We've removed the uh, third and fourth player bits from here. Otherwise, the board and everything else looks all, all, all the same. Um, some of the piece, some of the places only have spaces for um, you know. There's only locations you can go to depending on the number of players. So there'll be limited number of options for us in a two player game to go to compared to in a three player or the four player game. Yeah, so, so anywhere we've got a little round circle that says three plus or four plus or whatever that means you need to have yeah. at least three players or at least four players to access those spaces. Yep. Yeah, yeah. The, the one square where we don't have that is on the loans square where yeah. we've just got uh, just sort of white blobs at the moment. <laughs> so but there will actually only be one one white blob available today. Yes, yeah, only one well, one blue circle effectively, isn't it, for a three player. So I think the second space is going to be a three plus or four plus will We've got to work that out, but um, but for two players, there's only there's only one of us can go there at a time. Okay then, so I'm looks like I'm set up to 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 go to go first by the uh, by the look of things. Um, oops, oh, uh, let's go here. So I've got five coins. Um, I've got two I've got two workers as as per normal. Um, so I'm going to start off by grabbing this thing. Uh, and I'm going to do the sort of go down here thing, thinking about increasing my transportation options, which are always good to do. Okay. Okay. And I. For those that haven't actually watched, um, seen oranges and lemons, I don't know how it plays. We'll try and explain something as it goes along. But there are videos on our YouTube channel, which you can get to from our producer games or um, or Google and YouTube and producer games. And we've got some talk throughs and also just game plays and so forth. Yes. So yeah. we've got a discussion of the game. We also have playing through um, a whole yes. one. So do go and pick that up first. So I'm going to go and go straight to where the bells are. Okay. Right. Uh, back to back to me again. Uh, I'm going to be spending three there when I when I go to increase my transport. So I'm going to go uh, thinking about it. I'm going to go to the archery competition. Archery competition is a place you can go to and just get um, three coins for free if you're the first one in. Uh, in fact, there can only be one of us there um, in this two-player game. Yeah. And I am going to go to the other place where you can get two coins rather than three. Yep. Which Excuse is me, St John's. St John's. Yeah, so some begging. Okay, so worker placement game. We've placed our first uh, two workers each at the start of the game. We're going to be increasing those uh, by some uh, locations on the board. Uh, but um, for now, we just work our way around the board. Uh, the first turn. Um, you, we go around the effectively around the rhyme of oranges and lemons. And the first space we get to with anything on is is here, which is the St Margaret's, the bullseyes and targets. I'll say the bells St Margaret's. So this is the butts, and here I, my worker is going to win me three uh, three coins. So I just place it back on the track, um, and player order can change as a result of where they come where they go back on the track to. Oh, and there's my three one. Two and three coins. Uh, next up, we get to 
Um, I think you were the bell. Yes. So I'm here. Yep. So I've put him back on there. And I'm going to spend five. Okay. So why are you placing your bell? And I am going to put my bell on to the exports thing, which is which one? This one? The, the docks. Uh, the, uh, the docks, yes. So it's the uh, left hand side. Yep. That's that. Okay. Um, so that cost you five. Paid my five. Okay. So next up is you begging for money out of uh, at St John's, the uh, chapel at uh, the Tower of London. So I get uh, two coins for that. Yeah. And that goes back on the truck. And finally, my worker here went into the location for increasing the um, your transport capacities. Um, at the start of the game, you can only you only have space for one up for picking up one good. Um, so I'm not gonna I'm gonna spend three coins. Those that I just got from the archery competition, um, and I'm going to buy myself a nice little handcart um, over here. If I just come round to my location here, this is my handcart. I'll just pop on the board. I'm going to stop that in position since we're using a Tabletopia here. We're only accidentally picking things up. Right, so that is the end of the first turn. At the end of the turn, certain automatic things happen. There's no replenishing of goods that we need to do or anything else. The one thing that happens is we're going to remove the top two goods, uh, sorry, cargo from the docks here. This is the uh, timer mechanism for the game. So the game can end in various ways, but it always ends when you when you take out the last one of these cargo tiles and put them out. Yeah. Then there's, that's going to be the final round of the game. Indeed. So I suppose if people in a northern two-player game really went hard on cargoes and took more than two outs repeatedly yeah you could then end up with a you could you game. could end up with a shorter game so if that was all they were doing um right okay that's interesting isn't it okay um so we're first what player is, what is that last card that, that one there? is a warehouse um all right so remember there is the warehouse down here that you can um that you can get by putting a, uh, on, by eh? putting a um yeah by putting a bell on there uh, but you can also get yourself a warehouse from by having that that tire by fulfilling that contract. Interesting. Right, I'm up first. I've got capacity now to transport two goods, so I'm now in the market for potentially um, being able to increase my personnel levels if I wanted to, which would cost me three. So I'm going to go and um, buy, um, set myself up to buy at least a couple of units of something, probably, and, and the cheapest things, elevens. So. I go to the lemon place. I'll use a lemon to the bell to lemons. Uh, so what are you doing? Hmm. Well, I've already realised I made a strategic error. It's amazing how quickly you can do that in this game. So I'm not going to tell you what that is. Uh -huh. um, so what I am going to do Are you breaking so, your case because you've only got space for one? That's um, because you, you, you haven't got your newfangled new handcart like some of us have. Yes. Or a warehouse. So I said I put my bell on the wrong place, that's why I did. I meant to go for the warehouse. Um, okay. So, never mind. Well, I don't mind if I'm in magnanimous at this no, uh, no, no, point no, of proceedings. No, no, no. Well, so. carry on. Okay. Let's do, it, let's do it properly and then it's me again. Yep. So I will sell my brick. Yep. Okie dokie. And I will then be going. Oh, and I, I'm the one. I know I'm okay. I've got enough money. I was going to make a mistake. Um, I've just got enough. Because uh, I, when, when you put workers on spaces in oranges and lemons, if there is a coin value on that space, you have to spend the money right there and then. Um, and um, I was just checking out I had enough money to, to both buy my lemons when the time comes, but also spend the money right now. But I do, just so five coins there goes in, and two comes back out. 
Right, so off we go. So I'll now buy my lemons. Uh, I need two, and I've got two coins. So my remaining two coins. There. I will buy two lemons for two coins, and I've got the capacity in my hand cart and my uh, to to carry two two lemons just like that. Okay. Next up is you're buying a brick, I believe. Buying a brick, and then I'm selling a brick. Yep. So you're buying a brick for two, and and selling it for four. So let's just put the brick back. Yep. And, and take take uh, take an extra two. Take two coins out. Yep. And we'll put you on the score track down here, uh, which is your uh, green, aren't you? Yes. Your you get on the score track, which is, this thing gives you point um, um, tracks how many transactions you've done. And the victory points for doing more transactions as buying and selling goods in oranges and lemons is one of the things you can get points for right so that was your two workers there um, so and then I'm back to me again i get to hand over two goods which in this case are two lemons and i am employed um use it with my two lemons a extra worker so i put my worker back on the board there and I put my third worker into play there. Okay, and we are off again to the final next turn, so we lose a couple of cargoes. So to start with, a lot of cargoes will cycle through without anyone doing anything much with them, but then later in the game, lots of the cargoes can can start to get fulfilled. Uh, and it's more commonly that so that is the way they're removed rather than just being thrown away. As we say, this is the this is the ticking mechanism in the uh, um, in the game. Right. So it looks like I'm first again. I have no coins though, um, but I do have three workers. So first thing I'm going to do is go and get myself some money at the archery thing. Uh, then it's your two workers. So you put your worker down at the bottom there, that's it. Right, I am then going to buy some pancakes and sell some pancakes. So to get an extra worker, yep. I need to hand in three coins and also two goods, is that right? Yes, yeah, so you have to place the, uh, you have to do the, the two coins at the moment that you place the worker. Because there's coin because they're actually on the, the space, and the two goods when we get round to that in the in the you know the order of the game, yeah. Right, so off we go. So I am by I'm getting three coins from the archery competition. So one. In fact, I'm going to be spending those. Which I'm up next as well, so I'm going to be spending those three coins immediately. So I might as well put them back again um, to buy buy two pancakes. Um, and I think I'm up again, aren't I? So I might as well just sell those two pancakes without bothering to take them. Uh, so I, I'm i basically going to take ten coins at the end result of that. So with my three, I bought two pancakes for three. Uh, no, sorry, three, and then I'm going to get five each for the two two pancakes for a total of ten. So I'll take a ten coin there okay. and advance myself on the old transaction track. Okay, so then it's me. Yep. This is me collecting a red brick. Yep. And then it's me coming around here and buying hand cart for three. Yep. So that's my hand cart. 
Okay, and I shall work her there. That is the end of the turn again. This thing here is a free upgrade of transport. Right. Okay. And it requires two pancakes. Or three okay. pancakes. Okay. Well, at least three pancakes. pancakes. Yeah. There's pancakes. Yes. Yes. The colours are a bit difficult to see, but the 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 yeah, they're meant to be the orange, three oranges rather than the two yellowy things. Right. So off we go with oh, my three workers are in a row on this particular turn. I have ten coins. Well, what I'm going to do decide. is I'm going to have a bash at the East India Company, which is going to take um, eight of those. Well, the East India Company is basically an investment. We shall see if it turns out all right or not. Uh, I'm then going to two coins left. Um, so I could spend those on a brick, I guess here and then I will go and sell my brick so I've got a bit of money after after that after the turn plus we'll see what comes out of things in the, the East India investment East India company investment right so now it's you hmm. that's rather annoying interfered with my plan all right you're sorry I know I forgot you I already you had picked a... up one brick I was going to get another brick and do something with bricks but yes never mind I was just looking for the most cost-effective thing to do with two coins. So. Right, so what I am going to do... You can do you can get a free brick down here on the St John's. That's what you did last turn, of course. Yes, I can. Um, yes, I could do that. And then I'm going to have, put a car going over here and okay. get myself a free warehouse yep. or I could pick up something else that wasn't a brick yeah well you could do two things I mean yeah, so you could, you'd have two yes I mean yeah, with that you'd be able to have a loan with this you'd be able to get some a stack of money hmm. with this you'd be able to you, know, you, haven't got pan you need pancakes for that yes the stack of money is probably the most useful thing to do actually thinking about it so what I will yeah. do is I will put one onto here yep Brick and one onto the docks. Oh, the docks. And because I have my bell, the reason I can do this with just yes. two is because of my bell. Yeah, the bell basically means in her case she can reduce the number of goods she has to supply in order to fulfill one of these cargo contracts by one. So uh, the three cube ones become two cubes in her case. Uh, I don't currently have a bell yet, so I've got the advantage in, in that regard. Right, so I'm going to buy myself a uh, a brick for two coins, like that. Uh, and I will then sell my brick for four. So I'm going to get a profit out of things. Um, so that moves you one up on the track. Moves one up on the track. So and one of the various things that we're playing for here is certain being the most advanced in certain areas. So one of the things to be uh, is is be being furthest along on the transactions. Uh, right, and we go to St John's where you beg for your uh, for my brick. For your brick. I was going to buy it, honest, but you're somebody, buy it. somebody uh, got in the way. So the, I now have two bricks. You have two bricks. Right, East India Company. So. I spent my eight coins when I went there first. I draw two from the bag, uh, and here are two things. Now, not uh, these ones are either four, basically lemons, but um, or a pancake and a um, basically a pan, a black and black cube, an ironworks thing. Um, now, my transport for capacity is only a only two. So, if I took the two lemons. Then I, when we got to the end of the turn, I would be I, I would have I would basically have to sell two lemons, um, you know, at you know only what you could only buy them for. Um, so whereas with this one, I can actually I can get both of those on board, 
on, into my transport and I don't have to worry about not being able to you know, you know, do something with them. So that I'll just take and put straight into the to there like that. And then this East India Company sorry, let me show show that on the screen. So I've told so this East India Company basically is an investment. So the ships come back from the far far east um with a couple of goods on board. Um and I'll just flip over that now because that uh, means currently I'm winning in terms of East India Company investments, which is one of those things you can get points for down here. Right, so and that's your blue guy. That's my blue guy coming back, and then Jane did a cargo delivery. So I have got two red cubes. So this would enable me to get a warehouse. Yep. Or take out a loan. Yep. Or get a shed load of money. Yeah, this is actually issuing a loan rather than taking one out. So this is where Jane would Being then be could get into the money lending business, which will give her income from the loan, but also that's one of those things you get points for. But I think at yeah. this point in the game, uh, early I mean, 18, on, eighteen coins is a lot. It's quite a lot to to be able to play with it uh, at, at this it, stage it, in the matter. Yes. So I think I'm going to go for that one. Yeah. Okay. So you hand over your two red cubes. You get eighteen coins as well. We flip that over, and again, that means that Jane's currently winning on doing doing the most, doing the most cargo deliveries. And she gets her. Uh, let's give you three of these silvers. And, uh, that's 15, uh, 16, 17, 18. Yep. So that's been quite lucrative for you. Um, right, so end of the turn. We, we, we only remove the top one of these because one, one cargo was sold. Right back in the bag, if you will go. That's it. Uh, so we slide all these up to the top, thus, and oh, oh there we go, they got accidentally turned over, oh they, uh, those are those aren't they, that's fine. Okay, and we are good to go again, so I'm first, four coins, I've got stuff, um, I've got a um, pancake and a, and a thing, um, and a Black cubes, which is the ironworks thing, they're quite a bit, quite valuable for selling those. So I think I'm going to go. I'm going to put down a my first worker. I've got two workers, so I'm going to go sell them and sell them. Okey doke, and then I definitely need some more workers. So I shall go there, and I have to pay three coins at the point that I go there. Yep, indeed. And then I have two coin, two two um, um, goods when you get round to it. So me next. Um, so I'll be selling that stuff. I'm, um, um, I've only got four at the moment. So I'll get money when I get to here. So two. Okay then. What I'm going to do is I'm going to place my worker. I can play a slightly longer game with this particular next turn. Put that boy on that one. Planning to buy some um, pang, oh, kettles and pans. So it was the iron work, iron work type things. Uh, you could buy those iron mug, iron mugry, I suppose, isn't it? That kind of thing. Uh, right, and your your guy. Are you going to buy your two? Two cubes you're going to need. Yeah, so I'll go and get lemons. Right, so you're off uh, straight to you then. Right, so the first thing I'm going to do is buy my two lemons for two coins. Yep. So the idea with the dockyard thing is that the returning sailors and things coming back into the docks near Stephanie, uh, well, you know, would be hanging about looking for a job, um, and you can basically go and employ them, and they become extra workers in the game. Uh, and now, and the cost of employing them, you have to put money on the, on here when you put your worker down. But then it become then you have to pay as many cubes as you've got workers already. So at the start of the game, you've got two workers, so it's two cubes. Um, when you uh, go to a third worker, probably trying to get a fourth worker is going to cost you three cubes. And remember, you've got to have the capacity. At the moment, I've only got capacity for two th goods, as has Jane. So that'll be one of our next things to think about is potentially starting to get an upgrade. For transport, okay. So you bought your lemons um, uh, right around here. Now I've got a little buying and selling going on for me. So I'm going to be selling a black a, a pancake for five, and a cake, okay, and a 
ironwork thingy, um, a pan or whatever it is, for seven. Uh, that's my third of my fourth transactions. So I'm clear all the transaction track here. Uh, so, and then I'm going to buy two uh, ironwork thing uh, pans for five. Okay. Oh, I don't, oh, sorry, yes, one, one of which has. Yeah, well, that black cube should have gone in over here. <laughs> and then come back again. Yep, yeah, so that's where we are. Right, so that was being done. So. You know, with the ironworks thing, with the black pans and things, you've got to wait until the following turn to sell them. So there's a little bit of a delay in, in return of investment, but the investment usually is a bit better. So my okay, East so India now. Company transaction there cost me eight to, to back a ship, as it were, and invest in, investing in the ship to sail off. The goods it bought back, though, I managed to sell for 12, so it was a profit, um, profitable one. And now it's okay. me round at the docks, yep. so I hand over my two lemons yep. and get myself an able-bodied. Yep, an extra extra oh. worker. Which means we now both have three workers each. So that's the end of the turn. So on two, and up we go. Right. I think these are these piles slightly. There we are. That's all right. Sorry, funny things are happening. Okay, so off, off to you, I think. You're starting. Yeah. So I now have three workers. Uh, I have money. I could do with more. So I've got the hand cart, so the next one up would be yep. cost me uh, seven. So yeah, the next transport, which is the horse and cart, mm -hmm. cost seven to uh, to buy, but increases the capacity by two, which means you can then carry four four goods, mm. yes. which is good and also allows you to think about increasing those workers and things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think I am going to go to, to there first. To okay. Sell the pancakes. Yes. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy. Um, I'm just realising these black cubes are missing a couple of them. They should be replenished. Just pop them in. There they are. I'm going to buy a transport upgrade there. Yep. Okay. Well, I would have done it if you hadn't, so uh, that seems worthwhile. Right, well, I'm definitely going to sell. Oh, you've also got some money, haven't you? So before I think about that I'm going to go to East India Company and have another go at what I just did. Okay. That is seven. Yep. What I'm going to do is uh, are those pancakes on there? Those are four, well in your case three pancakes you'll be needing for that, yep. Oh, okay, yep, yeah, you got two yeah. goes anyway. So. Well, I'll be selling some uh, my pans, uh, then it's me again. Uh, here's the new company around there. I'm going to get lots of money when I, when I, when I got to that. I haven't got much at the moment. Uh, so, four for there. I haven't got the things as yet. So, what I think I will do. I haven't got capacity either. I think what I'm going to probably just do for this particular turn um, is to just get to go to the archer competition for some extra coins. Okay, so now what I'm going yep. to do is I am going to buy some bricks. Yep, she's over there. She's and then there. Yeah. I'm going to Docks again. Okay. Okay. Right. So first up is me with my archer competition. Uh, taking again three coins for that. Um, 
Okay. The next is me. Yep. Buying um, two bricks. Two bricks for three, three coins. coins. Okay. So that's you. Uh, right. I'm selling those. Um, I'm uh, two two metal. I'm a great things. Those two pans. I uh, want two of those, so I'm going to get fourteen coins for those. So uh, quite a good return, as they only bought me only cost me five to buy in the first place. Uh, but did take a oh, I did have to wait for the turn to come round to there. Okay, that's my fourteen and another advance on the uh, transaction track here. Right, so next we've got, uh, you. I think you are upgrading your transport to buy a, yep. a horse and cart, which is going to cost you cost, seven. Cost me seven, so I'll take ten and three back. Yep. And have your horse and cart on. Right, East India Company investment time again. So, oh, that, what should have happened, I'll, be, I'll just pop that down there. Last term when I when when I did the investment in the East India Company, two of these tiles came out. I chose one; the other one should just have got binned. So, there we go. But there's that one, and there's that one. Okay, so we've got a sunken ship. Uh, so so th so that ship basically just didn't get back from the East Indies, and you can there are six sunken ships in out of thirty six. It is possible to get two come out in a turn, um, which is obviously in your investment is. Is wasted except you're still they still count towards having the most towards this thing so out of these two clearly i'm going to be i'm going to be taking the uh well, that particular one um which is another one like i uh, 11 i think it's 11 this time isn't it yeah well it's a lemon and a and a pan so there we are uh and flip that over okay and the, the sunken ship just gets just gets bit Okay, and then you're doing a cargo. Yes, I am. So I've got my bricks. So I'm going to use that to get another 18 coins. All right, another, another delivery. And uh, we also lose this one. Yeah, we also lose that one, yeah, which is the. Uh, okay, another turn. Okay. Your I'm first. I'm going to go for an upgrade to transport. So you skipped ahead on on me on that one now. Now it's you. To get another person, I need yeah. to hand in three things. You need to hand in three cubes. You do have four spaces. Mm -hmm. So you, uh, well, I don't at the moment. So you're in a position to do that. So I think I will do that. So I have to spend three coins straight away. Yeah. Okay. And place your worker on there. Right. Uh, I'm going to need. Oh, I'm going to have seven from there, so I'm going to. Oh, so I'm going to. I'm going to get into another couple of bits of the uh, the business here. So I think it's time to get into the main lending business. Pop that guy there. Then it's over to you. Money lending. Um, you know, you, you it costs a certain amount when you generate the loan in the first place over the course of sort of five or six sort of turns, which you've certainly got left in the game, six turns or so. Um, I'm probably going to get that return, but also lending loans is another thing that you get points for in the in the end game. Sort so of thing. I need to be able to hand in three cubes when I get to the docks to get my extra work, is that yep, right? Yep, yep. So you will. So you're going to have to buy some cheap lemons to employ those with. Yep. Uh, I like to think, yeah, they call it lemons because it's the yellow thing on the board, but I like to think of it as oranges because I think you know that's probably more what you would 
Yeah. Well, sailors would be sailors would be used to it, wouldn't they? So the whole sort of taking the citrus fruit to yeah. avoid the, uh, the scurvy and all that sort of stuff. Right then. Uh, so the other thing I was thinking of doing uh, is to get up, get some, get, get a bell going. Um, yeah. So I shall go to Whitechapel, which is the Bell Forges. Bells in the game can't give you money because they're worth points anyway. But also, as we've seen from Jane's space up here, they give you a certain advantages in the game uh, on some of the spaces. Uh, right, and then you've got your third worker. And I think I'm going to try a bit of a. All right, a bit of speculation, eh? Yeah. Well, which is what? Is that eight? That's eight. Okay. Right, so first of all, um, you are buying lemons, I believe. I'm buying lemons. Let me so interest you now. Three orange, well, oranges even. Um, I, need, I need three. You need three. That's three coins. Yep. Well, there you go, there's your three. Uh, right, I then spend, uh, to generate a loan, I basically, you have to go with the lowest level loan to start with, which is a five, so I will be handing over... Uh, five coins, which I've got part of over here already. Uh, there, and I take a one point loan, so worth one point at the end of the game, but also flip it over because it's got these little coloured dots on, which are going to tell me if I get extra interest uh, for this loan when we get round to the East India Company. Right, I'm then going to also spend five, which I think I've got over here, um, to one, two, three, four, five, here we go, uh, to put a bell into play and my bell um you have to start with a three point bell um let's come over here now there's my bell here um that's that loan i was talking about earlier so, um, i'm going to put that bell into the east india trading company uh, because i've got a loan and it's quite good to manipulate the market a bit to increase your chances of getting extra interest and things right then we get round to um all right, I guess that was a bit of a silly of me. That's doing other things. I didn't even bother to sell the goods I've got. <laughs> oh well, next turn. Okay, I'm going to um, buy an upgrade. It's going to cost me seven, um, which I've got ten left, so that's fine. So I can now get myself a horse and cart. So, oh, that's going there. Um, and uh, if I grab my horse and cart. Pop that into there, lock that down, that's great. And now it's East India Company. Now, this is a bell there, which is my bell. We actually take out three tiles. That's one, that's two, and there's three. I get to choose which two of these remain in the spaces here. Now, what I'm really looking for here is a blue, is a blue uh, colour on these these dots here, because that... that uh, means the interest rate for the loans are affected by this investment, but not, none of these are blue. Um, uh, so and that can be positive or negative. That can be positive or negative, yes. So if there is a coin on it, like we've got here, that means that is worth uh, the interest. It goes up by one. If it, if there's no coin, then it goes down by one. If it's a sunken ship, you get no in, no in, no return. Now, so I've, I've basically got to have a look and think. Okay. Fair enough, I'm not going to get anything for the interest, but equally I'm, I'm, Jane has invested in the East India Company, so she's going to get to choose from two of these. So which one do I not want her to, to have? Now currently she's got three... Um, three. Uh, by the end of the turn she'll have sold these things, so she's got capacity for four. So she could take her four red things, three pancakes, uh, selling them for four, four red crews, four bricks is worth 16, three pancakes is worth 15. Um, so probably the pancakes is better and that money there is a 16 so and that's straight money rather than having to bother with doing an action like selling the stuff or she might use the the goods in the in here give her the three pancakes and she could fulfill the pancakes yes and that that there is but 17 I've got some in the docks but they're not in the docks for the cargo at the moment no not there this turn but obviously next turn but again that would take an action so, you know, it's pretty much a muchness, but probably uh, I, I might as well force her to have to do something to get them to get the money. Um, so 
Uh, I put the money back into the bag. Uh, and then give her the choice of those two um, investments there. There's the ships returning from the East Indies. Mm -hmm. Which one would you like? So, so, sorry, it says you're going now, isn't it? Yep, you're going now. Okay. So as you say, the four bricks gives me more than the... Yeah, four bricks is worth more than the... Um, although actually selling these and using it, well, and taking it and fulfilling that contract, three pancakes is actually worth one more, isn't it? But either mm -hmm. which way it's going to take an action you know, off, off you to... To, 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 to find it, so it's better still do that than giving you the money. Mm -hmm. hmm. I think I'm going to take the three pancakes because they use less storage space and yeah. give me the ability to potentially pick up something else or do something else with it. Okay, so you put that down in front of you. Mm -hmm. um, and I get up. my I get my stuff when I get around here, and I get it straight away. Well, we, yeah, we put them temporarily on the queue, on the thing. At the end of the turn, they're either transported and uh, transferred into your transport, or you have to uh, sell them off if you haven't got the space. Um, I will have the and space. then when you sell them, you sell them at quite a discount, which is what this one, two, three, four is. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, it does not going to be a problem for you because you can have the space. Right, so putting that onto there. Um, that's, so it's now me at the docks. Uh, we'll go back to the docks. Person. Yep, here's the docks. So, so I hand over the three oranges. Your, your three oranges, and they and get an extra person. So now, you, now you're ahead on, on workers. There's that. no points at the end for having more workers, it's just obviously no. if you do more stuff. No. Okay, uh, so uh, that. Yeah, and then you transfer those into into your thing, so you don't have to throw them away, uh, or well, or sell them rather at sort of like fast sell rates. Uh, well. rates, yeah. And we flip that over, and you've got yourself a piece in your thing. Right, that is the end uh, end of the turn. So we've been the top two of these. about um is it four turns after this one maybe or two three four five six, seven, i think so um so oh. but, so, I mean, so we'll do i mean obviously yeah. next week we'll probably finish part way through the program but that's yeah. fine because we then wanted to talk yeah, that's fine. Through. so i'll do this turn i think yeah yeah so I'll do a bit, of, a bit of analysis of where we are i think okay so you're up first mm. so thinking about it I was hoping the East India Company would be one of these recurring things which you sort of get early on, but it wasn't. It was no. just a one-off thing. So that wasn't exactly successful. But it means I now have those three pancakes. So I think what I am going to do first is I am going to go to the mayor thing because nobody's done anything about politics yet. No. So the mayor thing is basically... Uh, getting yourself elected as Lord Mayor of London, uh, and um, that so she basically get into the uh, buy buying some votes uh, for the what? Londoners. Uh, whoever has the these are these vote chips here, they go from one to four, and whoever they're worth points anyway. But also whoever has the most becomes the Mayor of London, and that's worth uh, that's one of those bonus points down here. So we'll talk about where we're, where we're both placed in terms of. Well, things are looking when we get to the end of this turn. Right, so you've gone there. I've got, so I've I've got three in a row. Uh, I'm going to be... Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go to there. But if I do that, I won't be able to... That's all I got. I will probably... It's going to be costly. Um, but... Yeah, I think it's still worth getting the extra worker in at this point in proceedings. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go over there. 
Uh, actually, I'm going to first of all secure. Oh no, there is another again, a one anyway, so don't need to worry about that. Uh, so that's my three that I've got to hand over. So I've gone to the docks to try and get myself an extra worker. I'm going to need to have three cubes by the time I get round to that. I've currently got 11 and a, and a, and a iron work thing, which is why I said it's costing, because of course I can sell that at quite good rates. But, but I think it's important to keep up with the, uh, the number of um, actions you can do by getting the extra workers. So it might be worth it. OK then. Um, however, there, there is another option or two. Yeah. You've got two more goes. I've got two more goes. Right, so let's just think this through. So I need to have three things, don't I? I've got the space to get two workers. I don't have any money for money. Um, so I could buy uh, an extra from there. I think I'm just going to have to accept the fact that I'm going to be, I'm going to be um, doing that. Uh, so I might as well, if I'm going to go and go, Rather than spending any money on it, I'm just going to get my lemon from there. So then I'm going to have three things. So I'm going to be in a position to, to deliver it, which is good. So as I say that I've got a bit of money at the start of next turn, uh, I'm going to go to the archery competition. Okay. So I've already um, gone for the um, mayor thing. Yep. I also now have three goes in a row. I have a total of nine coins. I also have those three pancakes. Okay. Now, if I just sell my three pancakes down here, yep. I get 15 coins. Yep. If I sell them over here, yep. I get... Yeah, that's 17 there, isn't it? Uh, looks like 17, doesn't it? One, uh, one, two, three, four, five, five, three, seventeen. Uh, sorry, uh, fifteen, seventeen. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So slightly more better, slightly better to be doing the cargo than the than the than the um, the docks. Sorry, the the, the docks than the the markets. And of course, you'll have done another cargo. Um, yeah. So that's probably worth doing. Um, I'm also conscious of the fact that I haven't particularly um, sold anything much so I'm not getting very far along the goods sold track though so that's another factor to think about it is yes because there's a victory point there are that. victory points on I the track that. as you as you advance on them obviously. and yeah. if I then so if I sold stuff there and I then had money I could then buy how many men have I got I've got three men so if I went I go went there men. Pardon? You've got four. Well, you've got one in your place there and three more. Yes, I've already placed one, haven't yeah. I? So additional people. Okay, yeah. So I've got three actions left to okay, do. Okay, yeah, yeah. So what I could do is I could sell my pancakes here, which would move me up on that track and give okay. me a victory yeah. point. Yeah. And I could then go here and buy some pans. I'll sell nice and nice and uh, expensively for up to seven each. Yeah. So three pounds cost you six. You sell over twenty-one. Which is a decent decent return. It is indeed. It's probably better than anything I can get now. Then. Or I sell these and I then, um, I could have another bell, I could buy a bell as well. Yep. I've got enough money to buy a bell, so maybe I do that, maybe I buy a bell. Okay. Uh, yep. I sell pancakes. So you look at the pancake track. That's sunny, it. Yeah. And then you, you can buy some um, some um, ironworks, was it? Or 
Pebbles and puddles? Uh, possibly. Um, so it's the politics. I'm trying to think of things that I've not done anything on yet. So you haven't done any loans? All you've got is four spare coins, so you could buy some. You, you could buy a, a good. I mean, you could buy a pan for three. You could buy uh, two pancakes. I could go around Please. here because yeah. by the time I get to here, I'll have enough money from having sold my pancakes right, to be upgrade. able to upgrade my transport again. Okay, mate, that makes sense. Yeah. So that's what I will do. Right then. So let's go through then. So the first thing is me okay. with my. Uh, archery competition that also puts me into first position for next turn so which is um, can be can be useful um, okay then you are buying a bell yeah, so that costs me five. Cost you five or ten if you okay. wait, um, you haven't got the money at the moment um, so once you bought a uh, you've got three we all have three one uh, bells that cost five and are worth three points each and then we can buy a bell that's worth 7 points in the game and costs 10. And finally one that's worth 12 points and costs 15. Um, in theory, uh, you can somebody's gone into a place, if you put a bell which is bigger in points value into that place, then you can also gain the, the benefits of that, um, um, of, of going there. Um, right, anyway, so you've uh, bought a bell. Where, where are you going to put it? Where are you going to put my bell? I am going to put my bell. To the mayor thing, I think. That's good. If you're doing the politics, that allows her to draw two of these votes um, chips here, and, and keep the higher value one, which is obviously gives her an advantage in, in that. I've not got into the politics business at the moment, but we'll see. Okay, right. So then we come round to you selling your uh, pancakes for five each. Yeah. Giving you fifteen money. So you take fifteen, and I give you that. Go grab those pancakes off you. Okay, and then you uh, that advances you on the track, which is gets you a victory point. So they these are on the track here. Uh, then you're you are thinking about, bottom, you're on the position to upgrade your transport and get your ship, yeah. so which is the highest you, level. So that costs me ten. Yep, which costs ten, um, and will give her the full full range of her transport. The transport itself is worth worth points. The first cart is worth one, the, um, the horse and cart is worth three, the ship is worth seven, um, so it's worth doing those anyway, but also you're increasing your capacity in the game to, to, to carry goods. Uh, right, I was begging for something just to give me my third cube. Uh, right, we then get around to the East India Company. Nobody's gone there, but though I do have a loan, so it's worth me looking at that. Again, again, I pull out three. None, none of these are blue, so that doesn't, that doesn't really interest me. Nobody's nobody's there, so it doesn't really matter what um, uh, which, which one, one I put you put back, back in. Which one you put back in the bag, of course. If yeah. there was something you might fancy later, you might put that back in you the bag. You might put that back in the bag. If one of those was a, uh, a, a recurring uh, uh, investment, thing that might be something that's worth doing. But I'm not going to bother. Okay, I get my one coin. Uh, interest. I should realise I've actually taken one coin from last turn. So I'll that now. And um, then I have to hand over three cubes, which is those three. Two, le uh, two oranges or lemons, but slightly more expensive. So I hand over uh, a black cube there. Three coins, though, is enough to give me my. Um, my fourth worker, and then finally, finally, I am 
do the politics. So she takes two of those and keeps the um, the higher value of the two. So I'll uh, draw these and have a look. Yep. Okay, that's very clear, which was uh, definitely useful. So the other one you just put down, taste, oh, taste down, just on there. This is only one point. Yeah. Okay, and uh, we are done with that. We nobody had any investments in the East India Company to worry about. We bid the top two cargoes Bond, uh, pull those up to there flip those over uh, as I say I think we've got uh, two, uh, one, two and three four five and six I think so maybe the best uh, way so. to tell how we're doing is actually just to score as though it was the end of the game right this moment and just see that might um, okie dokie um, that might make things clearer to people alright um, in which case let me just see if I can find the uh, little Excel sheet I've got that uh, helps us just top these things up Eleven scores in your Right, so I'll have that there, and I'll uh, I'll just put it onto the screen, and I'll I'll show people in a moment what we what we've got. You so pull things out, and I'll tell you what. Uh, oh, this is good. It's got the previous game we did, which is it involved some of our friends. Uh, mm -hmm. I'll just take their scores off for a minute. Um, there we go. Right. So first of all, uh, in terms of uh, votes, uh, I've got no votes. Um, and oh well, you, you, you know, obviously everybody on this is going to tell me we show people what you've got, but it doesn't matter. So, how many votes you got? I've got four. You got four. Okay. Uh, exports. You you. Uh, that was the use of the bell because I had a choice between uh, the the top one was actually just one vote. Yeah. The next one was four, and because I had the bell there, I got to choose and to take four. Okay. So the exports. You've not got any victory points on the actual exports. Um, so and nor have I. Uh, the uh, the loans wise, I've got one point in loans. You currently don't have any. Yeah, money is divided by five, so I've got one point of that. So have I. Yeah, uh, the bells. We've both got three points in bells. No, I've got oh, two oh, bells. You got two bells. So there we are. Uh, six points there. A uh, victory points on the chart. So I'm on the on the chart down here. Um, you have gone past yeah. two of them. So you've got three victory points. Yep. And I've just got one. No, I've got two. No, you've got four victory points and I've got two. Okay, dokie, just a minute. Okay, right. So I've got uh, four victory points from there. Another place you can get them is the Tower of London if you and go and beg. And I've got two. Okay, uh, transportation. Uh, you've got the full 11. Yeah. Uh, I only have the four points worth at the moment. Okay, uh, cubes. I have nothing on cubes. Okay, the most votes at the moment is clearly you, yeah. and those are worth um, um, five for first place, but nothing for second. Oops. Uh, so that's that. Uh, most investments, though, is me at the moment. Yeah. Um, the most cargo is you. Yeah. The most money, I've got one, two, three, I've got five. So do you, I think? I've got eight. You've got eight, so you're, you're ahead on that. Uh, the most loans is me. The most bells is you. Yeah. The most sales is me. Yeah. And that's where we are. So at the present moment, I'll bring this onto this onto here and show this. If we were if this was the end game scenario, you currently I'll just make that slightly more clear on the uh, uh, yeah, you can just you can just see the scores on here. Um, I currently have 28, 28 points, you have forty four. Um, so of course, um, this is only we're, we're not at the end of the game no. yet, and a lot of those things, the, the differences are well, fairly marginal. Yes, us, and, but yeah. it's useful to add it up halfway through because it will go to the analysis we do at the end of the game. Yes. Because one of the things we're trying to work out is having these first in various categories. Yes. In a more than two-player game, you have a first and a second. And you yes. have Five points and three, yeah. and it's whether having just a first thing actually makes it too powerful and turning yeah. too much. So at the moment, actually, you you've won you you you're winning four four of the seven um, 
five point to end game things and I'm winning three of them so that's fairly close so actually the difference in points there's only five the difference between us is 16 five of which is that and the rest is some other things because you've done an extra bell you've also managed that transport mm -hmm. yeah so um, you know that so you've got a slight advantages in terms of um, a couple of things there so we'll see how that all pans out but uh, in terms of next week, then we will carry on from there. I'll be going first. Uh, we've only got a few rounds left, although, of course, we, we've both got um, more work. The, the, the rounds do is obviously slow down a little bit as you, as you, because you have more actions and things. So, um, and if we get a, an extra, even we might even get as far as five five workers each, which doesn't tend to have in a, happen so much in a three or four player game. It might happen in a, potentially might happen in a, in a, in a two player. We'll, we'll see. Uh, but anyway, I think that's where we'll leave things for this week. Okay, uh, so we wish you all a good week, and we'll be back again next Sunday. See okay, you then. bye. Bye.